Welcome to another RoboZone Extra. We're back here today. We're going to talk about a subject that many of you have been asking us about, how we will determine the makeup of the four divisions for the 2017 Michigan State Championship. Dan. So the first thing we want to talk about is what makes a perfect division. Um, and we kind of have gone back and forth discussing this a lot. And we think that the perfect division is a division in which the strength of the teams from division to division is equal. Yeah. And that you have an equal chance, a roughly 25% chance of ending up in the same division as any other team. That's so right. you have a chance of playing with anybody in the state, but at the same time, we're not going to have lopsided divisions. And we're kind of concerned about this more in Michigan because our divisions are only 40 teams big. So having a lopsided division here could have a much higher impact than, for example, at the World Championship where the divisions run much deeper. Yeah, and I think everybody wants the, op the opportunity to play with their ideal partner. So the method that we have developed, there's nothing, for example, that precludes the number one ranked team in Michigan from being in the same division with the number two ranked member or, or anybody else in the population for that matter. It's essentially random, but there's controlled randomness. Exactly. So we, we did a little bit of work with um, using the state points because we are lucky in Michigan with First in Michigan. We have the points that you earn from playing events. Yeah. And so we have this extra metric by which we can use to sort of evaluate the strength of the division. So we're looking at the rank, the number of points the teams got. Uh, and we're looking sort of at the average of that and trying to make sure that the average of that across all four divisions is pretty close. Uh, and then we're doing something called signal to noise on the divisions to make sure that um, it's, it's not thrown off by a couple of outliers controlling sort of the, the, the average in that division. That's right. So we're sort of controlling the average strength of each of the divisions and then the variance of the members within the divisions to make sure that they're equally balanced. Uh, what we've developed is sort of an iterative brute force approach. Rather than mathematically coming up with an ideal function, what we do is we generate division solutions, evaluate them against three statistical criteria, reject the solution, and do this iteratively until we find one that actually works. 